I can say that I'm aware that that some complainants have become frustrated over the years because maybe they've complained about a given facility for years and DEQ hasn't been able to affect any change. And so I think we've called that um, like complaint fatigue. And I think when we drafted the strategy, we, we really tried to be sensitive to the fact that people may have had a history with DEQ where they don't have reason to believe that we're really going to take their complaints and work them towards resolution and actually do something. Um, I think that's a valid complaint. I think it's one of the reasons why DEQ started the strategy. And I, I would say one answer to that, and it's not the only answer, is that we actually have now started three nuisance odor investigations, and then you've got Vigor who signed a good neighbor agreement. So I think that although the past has been frustrating, I think we're now at a new point where we're, we're taking these complaints, and like I said, we're channeling them, and we are getting some results. And you've got the business community aware that now we have this strategy, and we are, we are using it. So I think it provides like a general deterrence effect to the companies that they know now if there's enough complaints and they don't take steps, DEQ will start a nuisance odor investigation with a result being probably a fairly large penalty and in order to install technology that's expensive enough that the company hasn't simply installed it already.